Looks like the Leafs can't make the playoffs. Well, yeah, dude. They've been out for a long time. No, I know, but like mathematically, I mean. That just happened? Man, the East sucks. Boom. You ready? Bang. Big news. What? Oh, seriously? Uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring him on. Beautiful. Leafs lose 3-2 to the Atlanta Thrashers, officially eliminating them from the playoffs. And the heartbreaker for me is, well, yeah, they've been out of the playoff race for a long time, but what if they didn't go 0-7-1 to start the season? I mean, they're second last place in the whole league, last place in the conference, and there's only five games left in the season, and they just got eliminated now? Even if they went 500 in those first eight games, they'd have a shot. That horse has been beaten into a yucky blue and white pulp, so I'm gonna leave it alone. As for the game, millions of people suffering from insomnia were cured because they fell asleep during the first period. Awful, boring, nothing happening, snooze fest hockey. Except the Leafs got a pair of two-on-ones. One of them was shorthanded, but nothing happened. Finally, in the second period, someone scores. Maxim Afinaganov scores a beautiful goal, outweighing everyone, including Jonas Gustafsson, who was going for his eighth straight win. But this game summed up pretty well the kind of player that Maxim Afinaganov is. Decent speed, amazing offensive skills, and some of the best hands around. Defensively? No, actually, not good. Because he made a few pretty big gaffes in this game. But all that matters are the goals that went in. His and Artukin's, it's 2-0 Atlanta. So Ron Wilson juggles the lines together a little bit and puts together the preseason favorite of the frat pack. That's Hanson Stahlberg Bozak. For the most part, they look pretty Pretty good, Hansen working hard in the corners, he drilled Nicholas Berg for us, and Bozak sets up Stahlberg beautifully, and the Leafs bring it to within one. And I mean, all credit to Stahlberg for scoring that goal, even though he had to bank it in off the goalie, but what a special player Tyler Bozak is. For a first year pro, he's very good defensively, he's fast, he can pass, he can shoot, he can take faceoffs. he's got everything. Wilson puts Kessel on Bozak's line, he does amazing. Put Stahlberg on Bozak's line, he does amazing. Call up Jay Rosehill, Bozak will turn him into a sniper. And after a pair of Stahlberg goals, the game is tied 2-2, and then Nick Antropov scores. And about 10 months ago, that would have meant the Leafs had the lead. But nope, he's on Atlanta now, tipping in the shot, and it's 3-2 Thrashers. So let me ask you guys, you have the option of being a time-traveling GM, you can sign Nick Antropov for the amount of money he's making now for the amount of time he's making it. Do you sign him to that deal? For me, you look at the amount of points he's got, and well, he looks like he's pretty good value. He also played with Kovalchuk for a lot of those points, but that's not the issue. On the one hand, I'd much rather see guys like Bozak develop at the center position than Antropov, but this team has a real lack of depth at center. And I know he plays wing every now and then, I still don't sign him. I just think it's too much. And another story within this 3-2 loss, Jonas Gustafsson misses his chance at an eight-game winning streak. Trade him! Seriously, though, you gotta give Gustafsson props for being the first Leaf goalie since Ed Belfour to have a seven-game winning streak. Not an easy task in a Leaf uniform, especially over the last five years. So guys, with exam time closing in and looking over the whole season so far, what grade would you give Jonas Gustafsson? All things considered, he's a rookie, first year in North America, all the problems he's had. I'm gonna give him a B plus. I think he deserves better than a B, but he's not quite an A. And with the Leafs game out of the way, I wanna talk about one more thing. Lee Stempniak. Okay, his last game against the Canucks stunk. He had no points and he was a minus three. But in the 12 games with the Phoenix Coyotes before that, he had 12 goals. He only had 11 goals in over 60 games with the Leafs last season. Did the Leafs have a receipt for Carlo Koliakovo and Alex Steen? Cliff, you had it last if I remember correctly. And this all prompted me to write a blog called The Ballad of Lee Stempniak. I'm going to put the link in the description. You can check it out on leafspace.com. If you don't read it, it means the Leafs are going to lose to the Sabres on Thursday. Add me to Leafspace, Facebook, and Twitter, and I'll see you next time. Even though it's literally impossible to make the playoffs.